美国联邦商务部少数族裔经贸发展局是在美国前总统尼克松的倡议下，美国联邦商务部于一九六九年创立的联邦政府机构，致力于提升包括亚裔、拉丁裔及太平洋岛民在内的少数族裔的经济发展与全球竞争力。MBDA 在全美有四十四个分局，其中南加州分局也是白宫亚裔及太平洋岛民提议办公室下属。位在包括洛杉矶、圣地亚哥、南加州少数族裔企业发展及中美项目 ，MBDA 的宗旨是向全美少数族裔企业提供专业的高品质企业咨询服务，服务包括债款、股本及合同担保，建立战略合作关系，以及协助与联邦政府部门之间的调停合作，且致力于帮助客户企业的可持续发展，拓展新的商业机遇，以及加强企业的市场竞争。力，为进一步推动华裔建筑商的发展，帮助更多的华裔参与其中，得益其中。白宫亚太裔计划代表团和联邦商务部少数族裔商业发展署在八月二十日专门举行了鸡尾酒会。汉天卫视董事长李济和 MBDA 多位高管分别致辞，为九月二日的二零一五年美国亚裔建筑业论坛会提前造势预热。To do the business, and in March, our company, our community, that's the problem. 九月二日的二零一五年美国亚裔建筑业论坛会，是继年初华盛顿白宫与 MBDA 首届亚裔及太平洋岛民建筑业博览会后的一次跟进会议。此次跟进会议 ，MBDA 首靠邀请了美国建筑业巨头很多大型公司参加，与各大亚裔建筑业人士共同开拓合作机会。Good afternoon. My name is Fred Lauderparisi. I'm the regional director of the International Trade Administration, U.S. Commercial Service of the U.S. Department of Commerce. We're one of 160 offices in 75 countries, and our mission is to help U.S. exporters export their product and services overseas. Some of the primary services that we provide, we find potential distributors and buyers overseas through those 160 offices in 75 countries. Myself, I've been posted on a temporary assignment in Toronto, Canada, Kazakhstan, Indonesia, China, and Belgium. What we do, we take a typical small enterprise company that has a particular product or services, and we help them find these distributors and buyers. And in addition to that, we also provide foreign direct investment. Through the foreign direct investment, we have a division called SelectUSA.gov. And our agency has taken the lead in creating opportunities for those countries that want to invest in the United States. As you know, U.S. is the number one country in terms of foreign investors. In addition to that, we also provide trade missions. So we take trade missions into Indonesia, into Europe, to Brazil, to China. In every parts of the world, whether it's automotive related, whether it's food processing related, whether it's educational. Now, keep in mind also travel and tourism. Any time a foreign visitor comes to the United States, that's considered an export. Any time a foreign students come into the United States, that's considered an export. So we totally appreciate that. So the U.S. Department of Commerce International Trade Administration, as well, have well over 1,400 employees. We have our commercial officers that are assigned at the U.S. embassies and U.S. consulates that are trade officers on behalf of U.S. exporters. So 95 percent, 95 percent of the markets are outside the United States. So for those 
individual companies that are here that are looking to get contract locally with local U.S. companies, they could take their expertise, whether they're a manufacturer or they're a, a company that provides uh, consulting basis in the healthcare industry or information technology or automotive, we will help them export their product and their services abroad. 本次跟进会议的宗旨是为二三级建筑承包商、设计师、工程师与供应商寻找锁定合同机会，并取得良好效果。美国知名建筑业公司均会派出专门负责与承包商、供应商合作的部门经理，亲临现场与各企业代表交流，洽谈合作机会。另外，作为本次会议的冠名赞助商 ，Wells Fargo 也会派员参加，提供关于项目融资等最新方面的信息。I represent AECOM.、Uh, we're a large、uh, worldwide engineering, diverse engineering corporation.、Uh, we have a footprint globally. Our, we're headquartered in Los Angeles. And we are pleased to be able to participate in this type of an outreach event for the Asian and Pacific Islander businesses. We have many business opportunities across the board, just in the LA area, and we're looking forward to working with qualified and specifically qualified Asian and Pacific Islander firms. We, my particular area of expertise is program management and construction management. And I think I'll be talking to a lot of the contacts I made today about being able to supply people to do those types of services. We have an ongoing need on some of our existing contracts, as well as new contracts that we're going after monthly.、Uh, the market is pretty good here in Los Angeles. So, anyway, we were、uh, we were pleased to see the participation we had today,、uh, and we had a number of、uh, people that were able to give, I think, good pointers. And clues and any types of help that we think that we can give to the firms that were represented here, in order to help them grow their business and fit into the requirements from all of our clients for uh, 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 small business participation. So I think that's it. 为对接以及全球投资者的服务 ，MBDA 的服务范围涵盖建筑、地产、贸易、投资、教育、金融、高科技等广泛的商业领域，并拥有丰富政府关系经验。2014年 ，MBDA 协助少数族裔企业获得了价值超过47亿美元的融资及合同，创造了3万个就业机会。四十五年来 ，MBDA 一直是美国少数族裔企业忠诚可靠的战略合作伙伴，始终承诺帮助美国少数族裔企业实现可持续发展。同时 ，MBDA 也致力于为国际投资者们提供最权威的投资建议与配套服务，实现投资者、企业、政府与当地社区的多方共赢。This is so important for us to do because. The Asian Americans are underrepresented in federal contracting, and in fact, even though Asian Americans are six percent of the U.S. population, we have only 1.9 percent of the federal contracts. And considering the fact that the federal government has 460 billion dollars worth of contracts, that means Asian Americans are losing out on a great deal of money and a great deal of opportunity. For access to greater business opportunities, so we have to change this around, and we have to make sure that、uh, Asian Americans are able to to get those contracts. But also that if there is a prime contractor, that Asian Americans have more access to the subcontracting opportunities that there are. Now, I am on the House Small Business Committee. And it has been my goal to make sure that we have more Asian Americans getting these contracts, but also that we have more small businesses getting these contracts. We have a 23% small business goal, but we did not even achieve these goals until 2013. So decades passed before we got to the 23% goal, and I think that the goal should be even greater. However, I do have to say there is a sign of success in that. We have now met that goal, and we are exceeding that goal. So we want to have more opportunities for small business all across this country because we know that small businesses are the backbone of the American economy. 
Thank you, thank you. And you always uh, support our the Asian community. That's a great thing. And because you're the, uh, our leader. <laughs> yes. And then also, can you talk about uh, uh, some uh, you know, this year you're focused on? Yes, uh, well, uh, I have been working in the House Small Business Committee on making sure that uh, we have more accountability. Uh, so I have sponsored bills that have improved the mentor-protege process where large businesses that have those federal contracts mentor the small businesses. And also, I have tried to Im improve uh, our accountability with our federal contracting and subcontracting system. So I've gotten bills and amendments uh, through the process, and it is my hope that we can shine a light on this so that small businesses and minority businesses get their fair share. On behalf of the Los Angeles Community College District Board of Trustees, it's a distinct honor and privilege to join everybody here today for this Asian American Design and Construction Forum to really encourage business owners and other folks who are contractors who really have the opportunity to get the prime contracts. And at the Los Angeles Community College District, we have a lot of construction bond programs still in effect with Measure J, which is the construction bond program to help rebuild and revitalize and remodernize a lot of the facilities on the nine colleges of the Los Angeles Community College District. And today, uh, Vice Chair Mike Ng and myself are here today on behalf of the College District to really in, uh, interact with a lot of the contractors and say, hey, we are open for business, we want to serve, and we want to work with you. So it's an opportunity to connect a lot of people in the construction and design industry with AECOM, which is our program management office uh, that's running the construction bond program, and to really make those connections and get people an opportunity to meet each other and hopefully have an opportunity to work with each other. Thank you. I'm so excited because we represent a very large potential for construction contracts, over $6.5 billion is our total bond program. We need, we need contractors, we need students, we need professionals. We need to be include them in our process. The training programs are very, very necessary because our construction industry drives the economy. We create many, many, many jobs. We build bi buildings like the ones in the background there. And our buildings are for education. Education is the hope of our communities, especially the immigrant communities. So it's a win-win situation. Build the buildings, get the contracts, go to our schools, get the degrees, get the training so that you can qualify to build the buildings that house our education process and make our communities grow. How wonderful. Yes, we have nine colleges, 250,000 students, many, many, many buildings, 900 square miles. We're the largest in the United States, largest community college district. So, but we need to make sure that people that want to do business with us, they know how to do it. So we're mm -hmm. saying today, uh, anybody that uh, wants to apply for contracts, wants to apply for apprenticeship programs, want to apply for training, please see us. We are open for business. We are the future. We are the future of Los Angeles. Please use us. Clint Eastwood went to our schools. Frank Gehry, who designed the Disney Hall, went to our schools. Many, many famous people. Now we have to make sure that common people can go to our schools. Well, this meeting is uh, our second event that we have pr uh, produced. And thanks to Dan and the MBDA of Riverside, we're very thankful. As you can see in the background, there's construction going on. And what we're looking for is Asian minorities to be able to be able to construct and be part of the, the buildings that you see in the background. So that's what our main focus has been. We're very happy that uh, MBDA agency is uh, participating along with the Department of Labor. And I also want to say thank you to Cal State University at Northridge construction management. They produce a fine group of students that are integrated within the construction industry. And we want to say thank you very much to them. This event is very important to our community because finally the uh, federal government is recognizing that Asian community, Asian construction industry is not getting enough contracts from the federal government. 
it's kind of ironic that the building behind us, uh, for the most part, was funded by money from overseas, um, mainly China. Um, however, a lot of the Asian construction companies probably have very little uh, jobs and contracts out of this. So we're, we're trying to change that, but part is also an education of the construction industry in the Asian community on how do you go about getting government contracts. And we plan to also uh, do a lot of introductions to large firms such as AECOM, who's our host today, one of our hosts today, and then also teach them uh, about the process. How do you go about becoming qualified to bid on these contracts? So we, we thank everyone for coming and the White House Initiative, MBDA Washington, D.C., and then the uh, Asian construction community um, all came to to learn and to work together and see how we can uh, help our, our community. Uh, thank you everyone for coming here today. This is uh, an important event uh, for the Asian American community. Um, the advocacy group, <coughs> we're trying to advocate for more Asian Americans uh, to be a representative of the, uh, of the uh, federal procurement process and government projects, um, and, and as well as uh, general contracts in, in general. This is something a lot of the um, larger projects in, in the United States have, ex uh, ha have not seen the representation of Asian Americans in, in these large uh, capital projects. And we'd like to increase those numbers um, uh, of uh, participation by Asian uh, contractors. You know, this, this also um, deals with also minority uh, uh, employees, not just uh, the employers. So in, in, in many ways when um, there's a benefit to both uh, the owners, uh, the, the owners of the businesses as well as the employees uh, that they employ and which generally are minority uh, employees. So we really um, uh, hope that this is this event as well as other events, this is not the uh, one, uh, the other events across the country will have a positive impact in, in this, and it is also um, uh, written into the agency's plans in many instances that the, they will um, uh, uh, report to uh, Congress as well as uh, the, uh, the minority business development agencies uh, to see how many contracts have, have been awarded to, to um, uh, minorities as well as Asian, uh, with disaggregated data to Asian Americans. Um, as you can see behind me, um, this is the, the backdrop is is uh, Turner, one of the largest construction company in the world, and they've been a, a tremendous partner in this project. And we look uh, to them to also bring on more Asian uh, contractors, not just uh, in, in federal contracts, but all of, the, all of their uh, projects uh, around the uh, around the country. Um, and this is one perfect example of that. Uh, and, and we would like to see more representation of Asian, uh, uh, even second and third tier uh, contractors to, to be uh, involved in these projects right here, as you can see behind me. Any additional uh, projects that will impact on Asian Americans? Uh, um, and you participate in all these projects? We, we'd like to have uh, the Asian American uh, communities participate, not just participate, but actually get, the, get these contracts. It's not something that... This uh, this event is not to be held for this holding uh, event's sake. We 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 need results. We need to have mm -hmm. um, when when the when all is said and done, we have to track these numbers. There's a, there's a tracking mechanism that the MBDA business centers will be doing to track the number of of, um, of participants that uh, have been awarded these projects, and that's where we want to have um, th this uh, program to make an impact on the, uh, have an actual impact on, on the uh, uh, results. My name is Kim Chi Bui. I'm the district director for the U.S. Department of Labor Wage and Hour Division in Los Angeles. Uh, we're here this morning to help uh, educate uh, uh, contractors who are interested in working in uh, government-funded projects. It's important for us to make sure uh, companies understand their legal obligations in the workplace um, to be in compliance with the various laws that we enforce. 这次论坛会 MBDA 商业竞争具有个性化商贸配对、信息与咨询、市场调研、战略发展，包括策略及业务规划、企业收购、市场研究与尽职调查、商业投资机会、商务评估。
。美国大的建筑公司拿到大的政府项目合同之后，将会用总承包的方式作为二三线的承包商。在美国建筑业里，与政府建筑项目的合同中，只有不到百分之一点六的合同是亚裔美国人拿到的，将资源带给社区以满足需求。这个活动的受益人是小的亚裔公司，他们正在寻找建筑业亚裔的专家、承包商和供应商。这次论坛会就是让建筑承包商、设计师、工程师与供应商寻找合作的机会，来共创辉煌的未来。